<laughs> hey, it's me. I'm Jay-Z. You may say C. And it's kind of really... Hold on. First of all, from us. This is a YouTube video. So, welcome to my channel, Journey of Jermaine. I am Jay-Z, Journey of Jermaine. That's what the channel is. And it's kind of really... I kind of just thought of this on the fly. So, mind me with the... You know, just watch it. You gotta just pull me in. You ever seen them, like, ads where... They do that whole situation where, like, no, like the dating thing is a dating site, like eHarmony. Remember the eHarmony commercials where you're like, and it goes, dun, dun, dun. You're like, in love. Music me on. You're like, I feel it. I feel it in love. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Feeling it. Feeling it. Yeah. That type of thing. Don't you ever wonder, like, the old school days in the 80s and 90s when they did the video chats? State your name. Mine'll be this. Hey, I'm Jermaine. What are you looking for? I'm looking for love. Yeah, I'm looking for somebody to do long walks in the park, go out to the movies from time to time, maybe go out to eat, you know, spend some time. And, you know, they always probably stop before they do like the like grab and stuff. You know, come over their house, chill with them, be someone's cuddly, cuddly buddy, cuddle, cuddy, cuddy, cuddy buddy, and also, you know, us spend time together, or just us spend time together in the sheets. You know, just us spend time together when we're both free and we both can't really have times where we both can live in a private place. Go somewhere where it's public. Yeah. Okay. They cut that part out. They always cut that part out. You know, just a little, like, feel like we cannot say that. So what do you do for fun? <sighs> and I always go with, like, the most positive things. Oh, I like going to bars. I love going shopping. Oh, I love doing something adventurous. <sighs> Walking in the hood. You can't say that. Like, I can't. Stop, stop. Walking in parks. Walking, you know, maybe hills and stuff like that. Like, yeah, those type of things. Oh, okay. Okay, so what What do you want to, what, what attracting your mate? And it's never be something dirty. It always has to be something like really clean clutter. Someone that's really talkative, like me. I want someone that also likes, love, must love dogs. Uh, they must love movies. Why go and watch movies with me? They must love scary movies. They must love my mama. They must love my Christian, my faith. I'm Christian. They must love the preacher talking about our business because I can find the preacher 55 times in a day. They must love that I have 85 friends and people I call brother, I call sister, and they are my, they are my family members that I also slept with. Oh, stop. stop. What, what did you just say? We, we can't say that. We can't, we can't not do that. And it's like, what do you mean? You tell me what am I looking for? Someone that... Can you stop saying the must love part? Oh, okay, gotcha. I just hope that they love my dog. Dogs. I mean, I don't, I have eight dogs. Is that legal? I have two dogs. Yeah, two dogs and a cat. And a, I think I still have the hamster. Oh, he's not dead. You cannot talk about Jeff on a dating site. So, in a weird way, you're always wondering, like, you only see like, the positive stories, like, oh my god, they just met, they're getting married, and that type of stuff. You ever wonder about all the bad days they were on? Because, no lot. I've had friends that actually done this site where they had to pay the money, did, like, eHarmony, pay the money for this one, that one, a third. And I was like, really? You doing all that? But you can just meet someone, like, easily. And they're like, no, I'm going to be socially awkward. And I'm like, I'm socially awkward. I didn't meet people. So if I meet the right people, are they crazy? I don't know. But my whole thing is, end of the day, do you ever wonder why they do these weird dating sites or like the camera thing? Because, you know, you ever watch like Million Dollar Listing? This is what they actually do completely. I made this much money. My whatever is this much money. So I'm like, but the whole point is that you're trying to feed, weed out the gold diggers, but. Technically, to get in the club, you have to make a million dollars. Yeah, let that soak in. Yeah, still let it soak in. What happened to dating? You know, like, back in the day, dating. 
I can say that because I'm like 28 now. I mean, remember when you were in school and they were in school? Y'all both were like 16. You played music in the background on the phone, but like, yo, this song remind me of you. And you'd be like that. <sighs> no flip phones. Doing that with a flip phone and you acting like, oh my God. Yo, you just got me getting this type of vibe. Remember what those type of feelings? Nowadays, insights are very strong. There's apps, fun apps, fun apps, fun apps. And then we're all Pacific. Like, it's like a made to order. Like, you ask them, like, like you, you're trying to find your dude. You're trying to find your chick. And it's like, she must have big boots. He must have this type of size. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it's not only that. You're like, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. And it's really crazy. Because it gets, like, a lot of pressure. He must weigh this much amount. He can't be this. He can't be this. He can't be this. I was like, oh, you can't be great with all this. Can't be. Can that be a can, can, can? Nope. Not with these no, no, no mans. And it's weird because you're like, well, you know, dating now is hard. And I did this because I know I made a video about, like, people being obsessed. But it's weird. I always want to tell people all the time, please enjoy being single. Embrace your weird. Get into the weirdness. Love what you do. Love eating popcorn. Watching infomercials. commercials. I don't know. That's your thing. Get, get into your weird. Just don't tell nobody about it. Don't tell no one. I don't know. Like, it wears me out because, like, I really feel bad about all the people that's on, like, these dating sites. But if we're about it, it's a market. It's a real market for it. And it's like, being lonely. Are you tired of being lonely? Do you, don't you feel like it's time for you to meet the right person for you? That you being lonely and them being lonely makes sense. But you being together and watching all the stuff y'all been watching apart together. Because you're afraid of going to bars. You're afraid of going on parks and talking to everybody that's walking right by you. You're afraid of going to the museums. You're afraid of going to the movies. You're afraid of going places where you love to do things at. You're afraid of talking to people on the gamer. Yes, I'm very inclusive. And saying, hey, do you live in my city? Those type of things, right? Right, right. So, end of the day, this video is mainly about comedy. If you laughed at any of these moments, especially my intro to me doing me a date video. And producing it off like you can't say that. Can't say that. Give me a thumbs up. If you understand my concept, it's down below. If you have any dating woes, talk about it. I'm here for you. <laughs> See you in the next one. So, you made it through the video. Thank you so much. You were watching the video. Yes? Alright, cool. Let's go right here for one video. Go right here for another video. And in the middle, if you want to subscribe, if you haven't subscribed already. See you in the next one. Don't wait.